First book, Atomic Habits by James Clear. So this book explains how habits work. And uh, it's all about habits and they offer also some steps uh, to make positive changes. Um, and that, that book could change your life by leading to significant improvements in various areas of your life. For example, it could help someone to quit smoking or start exercising, you know, breaking down the process into small and uh, more manageable steps. So the next book is The Subtle Art of Not Giving a F. So this is the ultimate clickbait as a title. Uh, the title is very catchy, has done some, a lot of uh, copycats as well. But the content of this book is actually quite conservative. So this book is about focusing on what's truly important and letting go of things that don't matter. For example, it could help you prioritize your time and energy on things that make you happy rather than worrying about others and, and uh, what you want to achieve. So in summary, take some perspective on things. You know, think about what is really important for you on the long term. So the next book is Quiet by Suzanne Cain. There is an estimated 50 to 60% of introverts. So this book is important for a lot of us and is about embracing your introverted personality traits. So this could change your life by, you know, you feeling more comfortable with who you are, accepting yourself. Stop feeling that you are the odd one out. Actually, I have a video in the link about uh, introversion, so if you're interested. But as a summary, it's okay to be quiet. You don't have to be loud or go for drinks with the guys after work. It's all good. So the next book might not be very renowned, but it's a mind-body prescription by John Sarno. And this, was, this is really life-changing. So there's a conservative 30% of people affected by chronic pain. And this book really... Uh, talks about chronic pain in a new way and what I like about this book is that um, it was written by a well-regarded physical therapist, John Sarno, and it was not written by, by a psychologist, so I found that easier to digest. So this book can really change your life if you have chronic pain, that tells you the reasons why you could have chronic pain, uh, be open to it. Next book, very quickly, The Happiness Advantage. So this book is about developing a positive mindset and improving your overall well-being. So I needed a book in there on, uh, on positivity, positive thinking and the like. So uh, here it is, The Happiness Advantage. Uh, more or less, when you are positive, it helps all areas of your life. So be happy. So the next book is The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. So this book is, is well known. Uh, it's about living in the present moment. Um, Eckhart Tolle explains really mindfulness in a way that resonated with me. And what I like about this book is there's not a lot of reference on you know, complicated uh, Buddhism terms, uh, and I find it very easy to read. And I also like the fact that um, uh, Tolle doesn't shame you by saying you should meditate one hour per day. Um, this is, he says it's, this is not required. I don't think he says it in a, in a book, but it implies that you don't need to do work to reach your mindfulness and your peace. You already have it. It's just a matter of accessing it. It's just a matter of uncovering it. And it also talks about animal as something that resonates with me, um, the way they are just in the present, just in the now, and they are an example for us in this way. So this concept is life-changing. Be aware of your thoughts. The next book is The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up. So it was a bold move putting this one just after the, the spiritual book. Um, but this book is on minimalism, more or less. It's simplifying your life and creating a more peaceful and organized home environment. And that can help you in your life to have greater clarity. And what I like also about this book is um, is a gentle opener on the Japanese culture. Uh, it's something I'm really interested in, um, respecting things acknowledging also that things can bring you joy, respecting your home, for instance. So in a summary, if you remove physical clutter, uh, that can leave more room for your life or other things in your life. Next book is Grit by Angela Duckworth. I needed a book on not giving up. So here's your book on not giving up. If you have been trying to do something many times and you still um, haven't done it and you feel like giving up, read this book. Um, that will give you a push. 5 a.m. club. So you might be thinking, this is not my club. This is not for me. <laughs> and it's true that it's probably not for everyone. Um, but in this book, it talks about the benefits of waking up early and establishing a morning routine for greater productivity and success. I have found that morning habits are much easier to keep 
and than habits that you would have later during the day. Because we have all sorts of things happening during the day that could derail us from, from doing what we're, we plan to do. So doing it in the morning, it's ideal. So journaling, exercising, even planning your day, that can be very beneficial to do that um, first thing in the morning and preferably quite early. And the last book is Thinking Fast and Slow. So this book is about how we make decisions, more or less. It's about our cognitive biases and how they can affect our thinking. So we're using our brain all day long, so it's good to know that uh, the type of thoughts that we have that are not always logical. So it's, uh, um, it helps us uh, make better choices if we really understand how, how this all works. So this is it. This is our list. So the books written before 2010 was Eckhart Tolle, Power of Now, and also John Sarno, The Mind-Body um, Prescription. So what is common is in all those books is it brings more awareness, and based on this you make changes. Awareness and understanding, and based on this you make changes. All those books are not 100% breakthrough, as I mentioned several times, um, but they are great summaries. I mean, in these days with the internet, where we want to go there to get bits and pieces of information, it's great to have everything summarized into one book. So hopefully that was helpful. Let me know what you think. And the next series will be on 10 books, but not only recent books, and 10 overall books since the beginning of times. The one that can really change your life. So subscribe, and then you'll be notified when this comes up.